welcome to my YouTube channel and to my Facebook page. Um, this is Julie's Wreath Boutique, and we're going to make some bows tonight. And um, I'm going to show you different ways to make bows. We're going to do it by hand. And then we're going to use the Pro Bow of the Hand. Um, the Pro Bow of the Hand, I love this. I just feel like there's not a better product out there. And I'm just going to be honest. We've got Christmas coming, guys. We've got some serious decorating to do. So um, I wanted to show you how to do both. And so we're going to first off do the ones by hand. And I'm, I also, okay, let's just be honest. Sam's Club and Costco have gotten their ribbon in and oh my goodness it's a must-have it's like it's like how would you put it guys it's like Christmas Christmas morning for crafters when Sam's Club and Costco put out their 50 yards of ribbon for what $6.99 it's like one of those deals like you get you guys I know y'all <laughs> I know that some of you are doing, you're stocking up on this for the whole year. So anyways, I saw this yesterday. I picked up some from um, Sam's Club and I picked up this. I thought this was really pretty from Costco. So um, I feel like Sam's Club has a better choice um, than Costco. So I kind of prefer Sam's Club, but you know, the quality doesn't always it's okay, it's not awesome. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sh first show you using this craft outlet ribbon. And this is some really premium ribbon. Now, um, if you're gonna make a bow by hand, really, it's kind of good to invest in a good ribbon. And um, I know that a lot of people sell ribbon. I've gotten ribbon from Michaels and I just didn't really care for it. But we're gonna do a bow the way my mama taught me how to make. And um, I, I'm so glad that I listened to my mom and watched her do things because she passed away when I was only 18. So I'm glad as a child and as a young lady, I listened and I watched. So this is one of the, the bows that my mama taught me. So we're gonna just start with a little loop. This is two and a half inch, I think guys. Yeah, this is two and a half inch wide ribbon. And um, I even got my glasses on tonight. I think I always say that when I'm on a Facebook Live. I don't have my glasses, but I have them tonight. So I'm just gonna make one loop, okay? That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna make one loop. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller than that, okay? That's all you're gonna do. I'm going to just gather that loop. Can you see what I'm doing there? Just gathering it, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another loop right here. And I'm gonna gather it again. Let me turn it over so you can see. All right. So here, let's make another loop. And we're just gonna gather it. All right, so let's look at the basics again. So we made one loop and I gathered it. Made one loop over here and then one loop there. So let's start that over one more time just to be clear so maybe you can get this all right i'm going to cut off some of this because it's the wires are bothering bothering my hand so let's just cut that off all right so put this up so you're going to make one loop just roll it okay see and i'm just going to gather it so i'm going to take this and I'm just gonna make another loop. Now, I, I will be honest, when I show you with the Pro Bow, I just like the ease of it. It's a little bit easier, but I know that not everybody can do a Pro Bow. That's okay. I'm gonna show you how you can do it without one. So I'm just gonna gather it, and I'm going to make sure that you're always holding all of that together, okay? So I'm gonna, make I'm gonna go under and make another loop, and I'm gonna try to keep it pretty consistent there, okay? All right, so we're just gonna keep doing this. Now this is what I do. At this point, when I have one loop here, one loop here, so I'm gonna make one loop on this end. All right, and now we're gonna kinda go, is this diagonal? I think I'm right, yeah. We're gonna make another loop, just the opposite on this end. And I'm just going to, I'm just gathering it there. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to kind of bring this down and make a loop down over here. 
So whenever you make one loop on this side, you're gonna make the um, same loop on the opposite side. All right? And you're just going to gather. All right? And then all the while, you're still holding this, okay? So that's a pretty good bow right there if you wanted to stop. Now, if you wanna keep going on, you can maybe do one more nice loop here. And then again, I just gather it and now I'm gonna make another loop. And that's all there is to it, okay? So you're gonna keep holding on to it. And at this point, I'm gonna make tails. So I'm gonna cut off some of my ribbon here and I'm going to end it right up here and I'm gonna gather it, okay? So I'm just gonna take a black pipe cleaner so I have the end right there, and I'm gonna go through this part while I'm holding it, and I'm just going to then twist it really good, okay? And make a cut here. And then you're just gonna fluff out your bow and you just have a really simple bow and you can either dovetail these which is just let's go ahead and you just fold it in and then I'm just gonna cut a V out right there and there you have a very simple bow so I'm gonna look and see if you guys can see that okay so um, so that's your first bow. That's the bow my mama taught me, okay? That's the, the Mary Casey bow. That was her name. So anyways, so that's what she would put on. She would make wreaths or she would make different crafts in the 80s and a little bit in the early 90s. But, um, but that is just a simple bow, okay? So now you know how to do that. So let's do one more bow by hand see how much I got a little bit of this left so I did this on my last video if you haven't watched the greenery video it's with the lamb's ear and um, it's just a really simple bow and you're just going to take so we, we need an, a tail okay so this is going to be our tail I'm going to take about 10 inches for my tail and I'm going to just make I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna measure. Yeah, that's about six inches. This is about six inches. So right here, I'm gonna make a six inch loop, okay? And then I'm gonna make another six inch loop. So I'm gonna look at my, let's see here. Yeah, that's about six inches too. So at this point, you could leave it like there and you could cut it and you would put a wire and then you would have just a simple bow. But we're gonna do at least two of these. So I'm gonna do another loop, the same, about the same distance, and then another loop over here. So we're gonna have a double looped bow. So if you're on YouTube right now, this is a Facebook Live, but I do upload up to YouTube. So um, make sure you check out some, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. So at this point, I'm going to cut about 10 inches because that's what I did with the other one. Let's see, is that about 10 inches? Nope. This is about 10 inches, okay? I'm just gonna cut it. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna take another pipe cleaner or you can take a wire. You don't have to take a pipe cleaner. And I'm just gonna take it around there Okay, turn it over and I'm just gonna twist it, okay? At this point, you can be done. You don't have to do anything to the middle of this bow, but I like to add just a little bit in the middle here of the ribbon, okay? All right, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of this and I'm gonna cut off about a six inch piece. I probably don't even need that much. And then I'm going to just fold it over and I'm just gonna, I think I, I like this side a little bit better 
and I just simply put it in between. Where's my, the black is hard to see. So I'm gonna open up my black um, Chanel stems here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this pretty tight, the ribbon going around my bow, and there we go. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of pull these to the side here and then um, cut these off. All right. So at this point, you can just fluff your bows here. And so there you go, you got a really cute little bow. And then at this point, I'm gonna just go like this at an angle. Probably should cut that a little bit better, but. And then you've got a really cute, simple bow. And that would be great for Christmas decorating for your packages, you've got it, you've got it already made. So let's get started on the pro bow. And um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is the bow that I use for my Christmas tree. Um, this is the bow that I put on all of my Christmas trees. And um, I've had a few people ask me, how do, you, how do we remake that again? I can't remember. So I thought, well, I'll just show you guys again. So, um, I'm gonna, let's see here. I'm not gonna use that one. Let's see, I'm trying to decide which one I wanna use. If I wanna use the silver and gold, if this will be seen well. I really like the consistency of this. This was at Costco, but I just like the looks of this too. And I'm gonna show you another bow um, that Regina showed on my page. And we're gonna show you that here in a little bit. So, um, Move this out of the way. So this is what they call Pro Bow the Hand. And um, I got this probably, oh man, it's only been three years since I've been making rates. Can you believe that? Three years, that's it. Um, and I think I got this a year after I started making. So I think I've only had this for two years. But let me tell you, it's been one of the best investments. I know I make a lot of flower wreaths and I know you guys are thinking, Julie, I don't see you make bows a lot. But when I do, I like this, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna get out my little dowels here. I think I'm gonna put these bigger ones in here. I like the bigger ones. I don't know why, but I do. Um, the reason why I like the Probo, there's, this is a very handy tool. When it comes to Christmas decorating, oh my goodness, you're gonna love it. Um, and I just, I cannot tell you how much I love this for, keeping my snowman and my Christmas tree bows consistent. It's just one of those things that, um, I have all kinds of dowels here. <laughs> um, it, it keeps everything consistent. That's like too tall. I think I'm gonna get the other ones. I'm not sure why I have them different lengths. And the reason why I like that is that when somebody sees something on my Etsy shop or my website, and then I can make them um, something that, and I can keep the look consistent. I just think that that's really kind of important when you're doing stuff like this. And so that's one of the reasons why I liked it. The next reason I wanted to show you this is that I have done this before online and I've always showed um, it the different angle on my phone and it always shows you backwards. So I finally have figured on to the whole um, way that you're supposed to have your camera angled. <laughs> so um, this way you'll be seeing I'm right-handed and this is the way that if you're right-handed, even if you're left-handed, you can learn how to do it this way. So I'm just gonna take this really cute um, plaid. I'm all, ab I'm all about plaid, guys. I just love the look of it. And I'm just gonna take, I think this is 22 gauge, but I'm not sure. I feel like this is almost a little too um, thick. This might be more of a 26, so I would get a thinner. I wanna say 22 gauge is what Regina uses. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put your ribbon on the spool and you're gonna wanna make sure that your ribbon is going um, clockwise, okay? So the ribbon, as it comes off the spool, it's gonna go clockwise. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gather it right here, all right? And I'm just going to, and this is where I think if I had, um, 
if I had thinner um, wire, it would be a little bit easier for me. So I feel like I need to just go get some of that. So I'm just going to wrap it around here. And if I had thinner wire, it would just wrap a little bit easier, but that did pretty good. So I just wrapped it around there. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go across. Okay, let's back up. So I have one dowel in the, the, the placement of your bow right here. And then I start on row B in the center with one. And then I jump up and we do row C. And we do one, two, three, and four, okay? Now, you're just gonna go around this one on row B. And this is C actually right here, your home base. And I'm going to just counterclockwise I don't know, is that right? Clockwise, not counterclockwise. I'm gonna wrap my um, wire up there and then there's a little nail down here that I'm just gonna wrap my wire down there, okay? So this is what I do for my Christmas tree. Now, if you have seen, if you're on YouTube, you're like, Julie, I haven't seen you make a Christmas tree on YouTube. You're not gonna see me make a Christmas tree on YouTube because I have a premium wreath tutorial and it's, it's, a phenomenal wreath and I do sell those tutorials but I also have a Facebook group and I also teach in that Facebook group and then I'll get to the bow real quick here in that Facebook group I teach an angel wing I teach a, um, a flower based on the Christmas tree I teach um, a poinsettia wreath and I teach a the newest version of a round wreath with the Christmas tree technique on it so the link will be below it's a lot of people feel like it's really worth the investment so so as you can see we went around okay so right here I'm going to make sure I gather it this is really important that we keep this you know pretty steady so we're gonna take this and I'm gonna go around I'm gonna wrap it around the first finger is that what she calls it I'm not sure and I'm going to take it and I'm gonna just squeeze it and I'm going to twist it and and wrap it under so basically you're gonna I forget, how does she say it, guys? Help me out here. So she takes it, pinches, and then twists it. So because this ribbon does has the same on both sides, it's kind of okay, but a lot of times ribbon is one color on one side and something different on the other. So that way we keep the same color on the, on the top. So I'm gonna go over the next finger. Okay, so at this point, I'm coming back here. I'm gonna twist it and I'm going to um, bottom up, bottoms up, yep, you're gonna kind of do bottoms up. So here's what I do for my Christmas tree, okay? If you've seen my Christmas tree pictures or whatever, this is the bow. I'm gonna go over this one again. We're gonna, we're gonna put double loops, okay? And we're gonna twist it and bottoms up. All right, come back down here, twist it and bottoms up. All right, so you've put two here and you've put two here. So now we're gonna put two right here, okay? Come back to the base, and I'm going to gather it and bottoms up. You're gonna, you're gonna twist it, and then that way you'd have the right, um, I should have probably used this ribbon because this ribbon has red on one side and a print, and that's kind of, kind of how, it's, how it kind of explains itself, all right? So we're gonna do the next one. So we did, we're gonna go back gather and bottoms up. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna put another loop on these. All, all of these are gonna have two loops on them. Okay, and gather and I'm going to bottoms up and put the second loop there. And the more you do of these, if I wasn't sitting here talking, I would have this done in a minute. All right. And then you're gonna do another one. Make sure you put two. You do two, 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 and then one on the last one. Okay, and then this will be my last one. Gonna gather it and twist it. Bottoms up, okay. All right, so at this point, I'm going to um, pull a little bit more. Let's see, where did my scissors go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a little extra out and I'm gonna give this one tails. I wouldn't give tails for my Christmas tree, but I'm gonna give tails to this one. 
So I'm just going to end it right here and I just gathered that there, okay? So I'm gonna take the top one and I'm gonna undo this little, you know how I had that going clockwise and then I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna just now twist this. Now, there, there's probably a possibility that I'm doing something wrong here. I hope I'm not. <laughs> but like right here, you can see this is longer than this. That's okay. When I put it on, it, it's okay. So when, at, when you when you're done, gotten to this point, you're just gonna pull that out. Okay, so here's our bow. And I'm just gonna cut this. So this is my Christmas tree bow. Now, at this point, you don't have to have one of these, um, but I have a fluff box, okay? And she even has directions, I believe, on how to make your own fluff box. So you're just going to, I'm just gonna wrap this around. I think I'm gonna do this right, we'll see. Sometimes I don't feel like I do this right. Can you hear my dog? And then you're gonna wrap it around the nail there, okay? So. Make sure this is in the shot here. So at this point, I'm just going to, and I might not be doing this right, but this just kind of gives you a base to kind of um, fluff out your bow. And again, you don't have to use the fluff box. If you don't have one, that's okay. But this is what I do, okay? So that is your bow. So let me undo this. See, I can't see. Yeah, there we go. And move this out of the way. These are pretty heavy. So I'm going to just kind of move this a little bit more so you can see it. But that is your bow and you can put if you want to make a Christmas tree I don't I don't know why I don't put the tails on my Christmas trees I just don't can you hear my dog he's shaking <laughs> he guards me do you guys have pets that guard your your craft room he definitely guards me so I'm just gonna cut some angles here And there you go, you've got the Christmas tree bow. So that's what it looks like, guys. I hope you really like that one. So I'm gonna show you next um, how to do, um, let's see, it's the, um, the snowman. I use it for my snowman and I use smaller ribbon. So there's that one. So let's move this back. Actually, I'm gonna show you a different one first while I have these big, um, Regina did a live on my page sometime this, either this last year or last fall, I'm not really sure. Um, and she showed us how to do this and I thought, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this again. Because it's like the perfect little bow. It's this bow right here. So you need to use ribbon that is the same on each side. So let's go ahead and we'll just use this ribbon again since it's right here. So I'm gonna try to do my best to remember you can make these whatever size distance you want, okay? So we're gonna do this size, all right? So I'm gonna try to remember how, okay, yeah, all right. Try to make sure I do this right. So you're gonna bring it around and you're going to have the end here, okay? So you're gonna have the end here and we're just gonna do a figure eight, all right? So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna cross it. All right, so that's one, a, a two loop bow, okay? So now we're gonna go over this one. So that would make, go over this one. That makes, two, um, let's see, a four loop bow. And then we're gonna end it with one more. Okay, you're just gonna keep doing that, 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 what is it, that crazy eight? Okay, so at this point, I'm going to cut a little bit off now, what I like about this, this would be perfect for like 
presents or you know you know how you want to make really quick bows for your Christmas tree this is this is the way to do it and if you get your uh, ribbon at Sam's or um, Costco you can make so many of these really fast so I, I clip this one and I'm gonna go underneath make sure that stays there I'm gonna go underneath okay and I'm going to bring this one over so can you see we've got the bow form in here so at this point I'm just gonna go if you can see this kind of like how you like do that shoelace knot and I'm just going to pull it really good right there and then I'm just gonna take it off I, I brought a thing so you've got like this little um, bow tie look going on and um, you're just gonna fluff it out here a little bit and then you've got a really cute little bow and I just thought that was super super easy and you can even pull on it a little bit you can um, out this okay I kind of feel like if I had a little bit better ribbon this would be a little bit easier but you know it is what it is so I'm gonna like flip this and I'm going to like pull on it just a little bit more harder okay and at this point if you wanted to add a, like a piece of wire before I you know tightened it um, you could do that to put on your On your package or whatever you want to do that's not a very good clean cut guys so you got one going that way and one going this way and that's just a really cute little bow you could make these bigger too I think these would be cute I think these would be cute for the back of a chair like if you were having a, a dinner party you could put them like here and here and maybe got, if you got like that five inch or six inch ribbon that was a little bit stiffer, that would make a really pretty bow, even for like a wedding. I think that would be really nice. So that's just a simple little bow that you can do that way. So I'm gonna show you one more bow and then we're gonna be it. And I just wanted to kind of show you what the pro bow can do for you. But remember, I showed you how to do this bow by hand and this bow by hand in the very beginning. So it is possible to make really pretty bows. All right, so I'm gonna just get my smaller dowels. I'm not sure if I have enough here. I'm not sure, I don't think I have enough. I think they're in a different thing. So we're gonna make a smaller bow because this goes on the hats of my um, snowmen. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use row B Okay. And we're going to kind of use that same method where I am um, doubling up on my, my ribbon. Okay. And let's take this off. I do like this board because it just holds everything into place. Now they did have this ribbon. I wanted to share this with you guys. Sorry, if I'm being a little loud here, they had this really pretty buffalo plaid. Um, it's a little thin. I, I will tell you, I'm a little disappointed in the quality. The, the other one that I do use, I feel like it was a little bit better. But, um, so I'm just gonna take, for this one, I think I'm just gonna take, let's see here. I'm just gonna take one of my, I, I know that Regina says, don't use a pipe cleaner. I'm gonna use a pipe cleaner, sorry, Regina. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to gather it down here and then just wrap it around so that you can kind of see that you're just kind of wrapping it around. That's all you're doing. So you're going to take it and you're going to go this way. Okay. And so I'm going to just go around here clockwise and then I'm going to go around here clockwise. All right. So we're going to do basically the same thing. I'm going to cut off a little bit of this guys just a little bit all right so if you are on YouTube and you're watching right now um, I have a group called wreath creators and more 
And if you would like to join, I will leave you a link in the description below. It's on Facebook. It's got a lot of people from all over the world, so we'd love to have you join. Okay, so we made our first loop here. Going to loop around there. I'm going to gather it and twist. Make a loop here. Back to it, gather and twist. And double loop. Gather it and twist. All right, so that's our first step. We've got, we've got the first two fingers done. All right, so we're gonna go to the next finger. Make one loop. And like I said, if I wasn't talking to you guys, I literally can, I can just bang out a bunch of these really quickly, and that's what I love about this, and then have them ready when I'm making snowmen. So. All right, yes, this will be on replay, guys, and this will always be on YouTube. So I pretty much, let me ask you a question. Comment below, number one, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it and I appreciate your time, where you're from and how long you've been crafting. I would really would like to know. Okay, so we've done two here and two here, so we're gonna go to this one and make a loop, gather and twist, go here, make a loop, gather and twist. Now, this ribbon is not that great of quality and I will tell you, but for the price, you just can't beat it. So it does like, fold over on me. Okay, so I'm going to do the second loop here and the second loop here. Okay, so at the very end, I have one here and here. We don't do a double loop here. We're only going to do a single loop. I kind of like it because it gives me an odd number on each side. I don't know why. That's just me. I like the odd numbers. Okay, all right, so I'm going to just keep it there and I'm gonna cut a little bit of excess off, all right? I just feel like the better ribbon you get, the less twisting it will do, and I, I just really kind of feel like it's the quality. Um, I do believe Craft Outlet has really good ribbon. I have not tried ribbon from Trendy Tree yet or the Reef Shop, I probably should. So I'm just gonna undo my, my um, Chanel stems. I took it off of this, and I took it off of the little nail there, and then I'm going to bring it up and I'm just going to twist it. Now, what's so cool about this is that your, my hands do not hurt after this. I don't have to hold anything together. I can just kind of let it go. So I'm just going to pull it up. All right. Let's see. I've got way too many for a hat. I wish I had a hat already made. Oh, I guess I do over there. But um, So at this point, you could put it on your um, fluff box. Or you can just, I don't know, I just kind of go at it. I, there's no rhyme and reason for me. I know that there is a rhyme and reason. When Regina does this, there's a rhyme and a reason. I promise you. Um, this is me kind of going by the seat of my pants here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I might get, you know, a talking to later. We'll see. <laughs> But that is a, just a simple bow. I love the this. You can get bigger ones of these, and you can make huge bows. Um, this is just Pro Bow the Hand, the large model, and I just kind of feel like this, you know, it can go all the way out there. So those are some pretty big loops. That will make a pretty good size bow. So if you're in business for yourself and say you want to make Christmas trees, that you, you know, you can purchase my tutorial. You can sell your Christmas tree wreaths. A lot of people make a lot of money. Um, selling those. So that is the bow that I use for my little snowman. And so what I would do is I would have one bow going like this and then the other one going the other direction. And that's just it. And then I just use this. I do have another um, channel, not channel, but another, another video showing how I make my hats and my noses for my snowmen. Um, I did try to make a snowman one time for you guys, and that night we had such awful internet connection that the video just didn't do well. So that's your bows, guys. You've got this bow. You have the Christmas tree bow. Um, you have like this little present bow. It's like a little bow tie. Let's see, and then we've got the hand bows right here. So, you know, there's some definitely some bow making going on, and the season is coming up on us. So, 
thank you everybody for stopping by. I know it's been a long time since I've done a live. I've been out of town. We had vacation. I had to get ready for that. And we've gotten back and I've had to catch up with work. So I appreciate your time tonight. If you're on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will make more videos. And I will talk to you guys later. You have a wonderful evening. All right. Bye-bye.